What's up, everybody? As you can tell, we have another Gridiron Studios uh, weapons haul. Um, I'm not gonna know the names of all these weapons, unfortunately. Um, I do have some nice things I've been looking forward to picking up and uh, hadn't had an opportunity to crack them open until recently. So uh, again, if you've never heard of Gridiron Studios, uh, here is one of their cards right there right there and right there we also have this card showing off some of their stuff and if you've watched any of my previous videos i've bought several items from their shop um including the uh old school howitzer cannon which was started out as a Kickstarter. And uh, these are phenomenally made, molded, painted, everything. Um, they are a bit pricey, but you're going to get what you pay for, in my opinion. Um, I don't remember the name of the packages that I got, and I do apologize for that. But if you go to their sites, uh, everything's well organized, and uh, it's easy to place an order. They package it perfectly and ship it out to you rather quickly. So uh, I'm gonna go over this haul right quick. Uh, this was like a Native American set. It came with this crossbow, as you can see right here. And uh, I'm not a figure reviewer by any means. Um, there's plenty of better people to watch things of that nature. Um, I just like showing off some of the stuff I've picked up. This is pretty recent where they've attached like this rubber band to act as I guess like a three point uh, sling in a way uh, so that's pretty cool makes me want to buy some black rubber bands and put them on several of them but as you can see right there but uh yeah their stuff is just molded perfectly and painted um i guess i need to go ahead and show off the arrows which are quite small and can probably easily break as you can see right there I mean, look at the detail down to the where the blade is. Let's see if we can get it in the crossbow right quick. I have not attempted to do that. Oh, I didn't know you weren't on the camera. I guess it goes, I'm all, it's a lot difficult doing this on camera. Probably should have done this beforehand. But you're learning as I'm learning. I guess you'd have to finagle it in there somewhat, but uh, there it is somewhat in there. Again, you'd probably have to make it look a little bit nicer than what I can do. I also came with this tomahawk right here. Usually I go fast through my toy hauls, but uh, a lot of people seem to like these gridiron uh, videos I do. I know I like the items I get from there. So if people are on the fence on getting these, oh, look at that. It's even got the serrated edge right there and you can actually feel it. I never noticed that till just now. Just going kind of slow to give you all a perspective of what it looks like. This came with um, with this package, but I also got it with uh, some of the communication kits. There's their emblem right there. And that's pretty cool how they incorporate their emblem on their items. Uh, really put their stuff out. I like that a whole bunch. And then last is the pack itself. And uh, got a canteen right there, grenade, canteen, some various canister grenades, pouches, another pouch. Got some crossbows right there. Oh, and it looks like you could possibly fit one 
See that hole right there? Right there, a loose one. I don't think you can fit both. One's probably meant to always utilize with the crossbow. Let's just see for storage reasons. Yeah, it's a little too tough getting uh, that second one in there and I don't want to chance it. So it fits one of uh, the arrows or bolts. I think that's what you call it for a crossbow is a bolt. Got this right here. Apparently to hold the tomahawk, radio, the machete, machete. And what I really like about this, when it came with the peg, which they were lacking in some of the earlier releases, they had double-sided tape. Some people didn't care for that. Uh, it really made no never mind to me, but I can see where they would uh, to be able to take it on and off for figure photography. But uh, I'll show you what this loadout looks like on Spirit here shortly after I show you the other weapons. All right, and the other one I got was this single release. I want to say this is an HK MP5, but I could be wrong. Um, I've always liked the way this weapon looks. It's got like a, a fire rate selector right there. I do wish this extended. Um, some of their weapons do. Some of them don't. Got a port right there. I put in some uh, flash effects if you got them. Uh, the magazine does come out. And this was just a single release. They have several they have several packages like the one you just seen and the ones you're gonna see here shortly. And then they have just single weapon packs. But let me t show you what I think is real cool on this. Now, I don't know if I can do it try to use my hand even the sight let me see isn't that cool right there that sight alone is so cool looking because it's so authentic to it so yeah very nice very nice sculpted weapon just well made there's a lot of pride in there products you can definitely tell all right the next thing i got was if you've seen the movie that came out i want to say in the mid 90s with sean connery and nicholas cage called the rock i think this is the set they called the alcatraz set i could be wrong on that but if you remember that movie it had the bombs that had like um the biochemical type bombs that had like the glass balls inside of it uh I remember it very well, Nicolas Cage always having to de disarm them while Sean Connery, a.k.a. old man uh, James Bond, was fighting the bad guys. But uh, this is just real cool how that's made. Let me see if I can give you a perspective of how that looks. Both of these canisters, the one you see in the case and this one in hand, they both come free of their um, case holder, whatever you want to call it and then it goes in like this and tabs in right there got a handle right there so you'll see it fits in there and there's even foam inserts just like a pelican case um i think that's really cool and then you got this uh it doesn't look like it's a painted it looks like cardboard or some sort of card stock or a sticker. It feels more like a sticker, but uh, very well made. Even has their logo on it right there. Let's see if I can get you pretty close. So uh, the case is functional. It does shut. Um, again, it's got their emblem on there. Uh, handle right here should fit most 1 12th scale uh, figures. And the case alone is very beautiful, very well made, just a good product overall. So happy to get this. I could see some good photos with Destro from Cobra in it. 
All right, now the next two things I got are these two cases. Now, again, you remember I told you you can buy single weapons and um, stuff of that nature? Well, because they came in these cases, I'm pretty much going to leave them in these cases. Yes, they're functional. They can come out. I could take it out, uh, pose it up with a figure, uh, going over his um, kit. Um, but, again, I could have bought some of these weapons on their own. Uh, what sold it to me was them in this case. Uh, you have uh, like a John Wick figure, um, any Mezco, any 112th scale, G.I. Joe, uh, you name it. I mean, it'll do well with all of the Valiverse figures. Um, I'm not going to take every piece out. Uh, we'll try. Let's see. Uh, what's cool about it, let's look at the case first. So you got this makeshift wheels right there where you could possibly carry it like that with your figure. You got a handle right here. There's a case right there, auto valve, if you can see right there. Uh, again, got the emblem, got their name of their company right there. Now, some people might not like their name all over this stuff in case they're wanting to use it with other things. Let's see here right quick. Oh, let's see. All right, so. Looks like a H and K G36 maybe. And this is foam right there. And you can see right there, let me show you the weapons right fast. Let's see, so you have that. Have this. I'm sure someone asked me, so let's see. It will go in. There you go. Right there. Fit like a charm. All right. It looks like you got like a holographic sight right there. So let's turn that this way. There we go. Got that on there. So you got your sight. Pull out one of these magazines. Now look at this. Now this is very cool. I have yet to see something like this. I don't think I have anything with a clear magazine from them yet. So this is fairly new. So let's slap that puppy in right there. Oh, it's looking nice. I was curious to see if that hint stock did anything let's see what this is i haven't looked at this totally oh that looks like a suppressor for the pistol so we'll hold off on that but just to give you an idea so let's just stick that right there let's see this pistol right here Looks like you got a tactical sight at the bottom. The barrel is ported for flash effects, if you have any. Which now you can buy them from several third party vendors. Let's see this magazine right here. This video's ended up being longer than I anticipated, but I definitely want you to see all the details on here. magazine pop it in there oh it's like an extended mag all right let's take a look at this looks like this end goes right here so there you go to give you an idea how that looks so we're just gonna place that one back in there 
Now they also got a 50 caliber sniper rifle. They had some other ones, but uh, these two stuck out, but the 50 caliber stuck out after I placed my order, which that's usually the way it goes. But look at how it looks like if you're taking it out. That looks so good in some diorama setups or just action figure photography. So let's see. Right here. This looks like a AR-15 or 416. I'm anxious to see if that sight magnifier goes up. I have not looked at that yet. I like the grips right there outside the magazine holder. That looks good. The Piccaninny rails are very detailed. All right, here we go, let's see. No, it does not, and I'm not about to force that. Let's see here. All right, let's uh, blow some stuff in. Let's see if this magazine is clear or not. No, this is your standard black one. Slap that puppy in right there. That seems a little loose. Yeah, that's a little bit loose, to be honest with you. Let's see, maybe, I know it goes that way. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, there's not enough friction in this one to keep it. And I know it doesn't go in that way because that's the quick grab to release the magazine. And I know it doesn't go that way, <laughs> that's backwards. So that is unfortunate um, that that doesn't stay in there as good as I would like it to. Um, but of course, this is like one out of 25, 35 products and you're bound to get something. Oh, you're not even on camera. Uh, that's not gonna stick well, but I do wanna show you, you can see, let's do the wiggle test. Yeah, so that's not wanting to stay there, which is unfortunate. Well, it is right there. So maybe, maybe you just kind of got to curve it in if you do it like there. Hmm, I don't know, but uh, you have that. And then it also has a suppressor for this one, which that's no game killer or anything like that. I mean, that type of oh look at that it even has where the muzzle flash is look at the detail on that that's amazing oh that's a little tight on there don't know if i care for that oh there we go so it goes about to right there so there it is with the suppressor you do have to be careful putting these on um, just for the sheer fact you don't want to break your barrel and you want to be careful for possible paint rub too but uh that's still very nice i like that don't like the magazine not wanting to stay in there but again that's not a game changer for me let's see let's get the pistol out right here this one's a little different than the other one. It already has like a holographic sight on it. A removable magazine. People have been looking forward to this video. I've been looking forward just to messing with these. Sometimes real life things happen and you get behind. And the good thing is this isn't a job for me. It's just me getting a chance to play with some of my stuff. and show some folks in case they're unaware of it figures and items that they can use in their collection so let's see if we can get this oh that one's super tight the other one you could barely get in on the rifle this one you had to put some oomph on it extended mag right there that's so cool. All right, so we'll put that in there. And uh, I just recently opened up, if you've seen one of my other videos where I got the Indiana Jones figures, the gum belt that's on there is trash. 
but someone told me Gridiron came out with their version of the gum belt. And uh, definitely looking forward to, oh, that needs to go in that way then, to putting that with my stuff. So again, that's the main reason I wanted it. That just looks freaking awesome right there. But again, uh, let me show this again. I am not a sponsor by any means, but uh, they do have some cool props and weapons. And um, let me uh, throw all this gear on Spirit. Instead of me pausing the video, let's just get Spirit out right now. This is a phenomenal figure. If you haven't already picked it up, his legs are a little wobbly because he has been sitting on a horse. What horse, you ask? The horse made by McFarlane named Roach from the show called The Witcher. So uh, let's get his self set back up. I'm gonna do this real time like. So let's go ahead and take this machete, place it in the pack, grab this radio, place it in the pack, grab this tomahawk, place it right here. I think that's where that goes. Seems like a good place for it to go. There we go. All right, so we have that. I'm not going to put the bolt in because I don't want to drop it at the moment. I've not messed with this three-point string that they have on their figures. We're about to try that both for the first time. All right. Throw this in the peg hole. Let's hope it fits in the peg hole, which it does. So there he is. He got it dangling by the three point harness, whatever you want to call it. Let's see if I can do this on my phone so I can't zoom out or any of that fancy YouTuber stuff. But that's what it looks like right there, everyone. Let's get this in his hand. Let's get that spread out some. These uh, G.I. Joe hands, they are some heavy duty plastic we'll just leave it like that for right now pack came off so there we go there he is outfitted with his new stuff and again this is some good things and of course this doesn't want to go in all the way Here we go. There's old buddy with his new toys. A little back heavy, but if you see in my other videos, I make stands that were developed by Land Speeder Loop that work perfect. So there we go, boys and girls uh, and collectors. There is my Gridiron latest toy haul. Hope you enjoy, hope you like. Please check out some of my past videos if you like their products. You'll see I've made a couple of more. Again, I'm not a reviewer, just showing off some of my stuff and maybe to enlighten you to uh, try it for yourself or tell you yourself not to get it. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Later. Bye.